this story has dominated not only yeah. the headlines in Ireland, but the headlines across the globe. Um, last week, we heard that the states um, had their sights on the Kinnan Organised Crime Group. Now, we hear yesterday that um, the UAE, mm. which means Dubai, which is yeah. where the, the uh, Christy Kinnan Senior Junior and, of course, Daniel Kinnan are living, have frozen the bank accounts and assets of... Yeah, the this is a really significant move. And I think, as the Justice Minister Helen McEntee said yesterday, the net is closing now on these guys. Um, and, and this is a move, I think, that would be long called for by the authorities here. And really, I suppose it's aimed at, at trying to put these guys out of business. I mean, uh, you know, the Taoiseach said yesterday, this just shows the crime doesn't pay. And this will have a significant effect on, on the Kinnahan uh, crime cartel. Um, they, uh, the suggestion now is, uh, my colleague Ken Foy in the Irish Independent today is now writing that um, th the, these guys could either be arrested or kicked out of Dubai within days. Um, they may flee to other countries, uh, Central Asian countries like Kazakhstan and so on, because they don't have extradition treaties. There's even one suggestion from one of Ken's sources that they could go to Afghanistan, of all places. Mm -hmm. So um, th this really indicates that they're trying now, they, they're probably likely now to try and get out of Dubai if they're not already picked up by authorities there with a view to evading arrest or You know, or we, we've been, you know, the, the name uh, in, has been in the paper here yeah. for years and we, we're used to it, but we were chatting during the break and Elaine was asking you, what was it that triggered, why all of a sudden did the Biden administration and the US get involved and now the UAE, like what has, what has kicked that well, off? Well, I mean, I think one of, the, one of the most significant developments was the fact that, um, you know, Kin uh, Daniel Kinahan in particular, uh, you know, make no secret, I think, of his involvement with MTK. When we obviously we had the news about MTK, the, gone, the boxing yeah. uh, uh, company earlier this week, it's gone now. Uh, it's, it's tried to completely disassociate himself, itself from Daniel Kinahan. Um, but, you know, Tyson Fury, when he had that big fight with Anthony Joshua, was bigging up Daniel Kinahan's involvement. There was huge controversy around that. Uh, that, that was a global story. And Fury kind of quietly then sort of disassociated himself yeah. from Kinahan. And this week he was quoted, I think, saying that it's, yeah, it's none I'm of his business. Yeah, I'm just a boxer. Yeah, it's yeah. Like me, yeah. Um, but that, I think, caught a lot of people's attention. And that drew the spotlight on the Kinahans and on Daniel uh, Kinahan mm -hmm. in particular in a way in which we hadn't seen before. And I think that's really kind of snowballed. But it also this, shows us here situation. just how serious yeah. players yeah. they are in terms of the business. Absolutely. But I mean, I think the authorities in the US have been looking at this for several yeah, years yeah. anyway. Um, but this kind of had a snowball effect, I think, where we had that yeah. extraordinary situation in City Hall last week where, um, uh, where, where you know, the American ambassador was standing up mm, and senior yes. uh, figures within uh, you know, American uh, and crime authorities. Fair play you know. to the Gardaí because a lot of the information that uh, have, has caught yeah. these guys and, and prompted mm. these um, major moves have come from the Gardaí here in Ireland, so that's huge. Yeah, no, it's, it's massive, yeah. And, like, I mean, we'll see what happens now in the next if, yeah. few days and weeks. But this really... It's a story that's going to move quickly. It's going to move pretty quickly. It's already moving pretty quickly over the last 10 days.